Hey there, Max here from MaxHarlan.com. I'm an emotional health coach, and in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the ultimate stress reliever, which is optimism. Before we dive in, if you haven't already, I wanna give you my free three-day video course on stress management slash stress reduction. It's super cool. I send you one five to 10 minute video every day for three days right to your inbox. And uh, best of all is the price, right? <laughs> So if you're interested in that, you can find that at maxharlan.com forward slash stress less. But I'll put a link in the show notes below so you don't have to type it in. Look, I understand if it feels like there's so much stress, overwhelm, burnout right now. Things are chaotic in the world and most of us are super stressed out. But the question is, how do you get rid of that constant chatter of anxiety, of panic, of stress? And I think that one of the big things is producing optimism. So here's three techniques to get into an optimistic headspace, even if for the last month or couple months, you've been stuck in a pessimistic zone. Number one is have a designated morning rant. There's an author, Tim Ferriss, and he covers a technique called morning pages. And it was designed as sort of an artistic um, idea generating free form expression thing, but it's actually incredibly useful for stress management. And it has many of the same benefits as meditation. So how do you do it? Well, it's really simple. You bust open a notebook, physical, and write with a pen in hand. There's something about that that's almost magical. And as you write, you have one rule. You cannot stop writing, period. And your goal is to express free form stream of consciousness, what's on your mind, what you're worried about, really venting onto the page. And it could take you five minutes, it could take you 20 minutes, but the big thing is you just burn out. You express all of your fears, all of your concerns, all of your curiosities, all the mental chatter on the page. And a weird thing happens, which is as you've expressed them on the page, a part of the brain goes, oh, those ideas are safe. And so you can quit running the same thought loops that might have been plaguing you or bothering you for you know months. Also, it's really interesting to note that by focusing all your intention just on writing, you do build the mental muscle of focus, which is the same mental muscle that you build during meditation. Give it a go. And if you're like a lot of people, I feel like in the West, it's easier to be active and to vent and to put things pen to paper than it is to meditate. But you might notice that you feel a profound sense of calm and a profound quietness in your mind when you're writing like this. The second technique to create an optimistic mindset is a little bit cheesy, but I think you'll like it, which is to surround yourself with optimistic people. And I know that right now during pandemic lockdown time, that might be incredibly challenging, but there are Reddit groups and Facebook groups of people just spreading little sparks of joy, little bits of light in the darkness. And you can find them, I'll link a few down below, but you can find them by just searching positivity, optimism on Reddit and on Facebook. And you can just subscribe to these groups and the cool thing is if you're in a bad mindset these little pings on your feed of optimism can serve as sort of like a reminder like a bell like a bell of mindfulness that says hey pop out of it like appreciate this one little thing right now and my third technique to get into an optimistic headspace to help combat some of the stress of the world is morning gratitude Full stop, it's really easy. Just pen to paper, write down three things you're grateful for, and the only rule is one of them has to be insanely simple. Something that someone can't take away from you. Something that the chaos of the world can't take away from you. You know, so two of them could be like, oh, I love my house, I love my car. But the third one should be, I love the feeling of my toes in the grass. I love the feeling of the air brushing across my skin as I walk down the street. I love the smell of morning coffee. You know, things like that. Things that are hard to take away from you because those things, if you can be grateful for those tiny things, well, even in bad situations, you've got something to look forward to. So, hey, I hope that these three techniques were super helpful and I hope that you apply them and you notice that they do shift you into a more optimistic headspace. I hope that they help to break pattern of anything that's negative that's been bugging you. And if you haven't already, go check out my free three day stress management video course linked down below. It's three videos, each one's like five to 10 minutes and I'll send them directly to your inbox three days in a row if you sign up. You can find it at maxharlan.com forward slash stress less and I'll link it down below as well. 
If you have any questions or comments about the techniques that I shared with you today, or anything stress and stress management related, leave it down below. I'll get to as many comments as I possibly can, and I'll get to 100% of the comments for the first month that this video is up. Also, in the next video, I'm gonna cover three techniques to handle toxic relationships. So if you're interested in that, that will be linked down below as well. And this whole thing will be part of a stress management playlist on my channel. I'll see you in the next video.